All right. On word problems, listen to me very clearly as I'm going to say this out loud. All right, I'm going to read the word problem to you, and then I'm going to tell you everything I expect you to do. So the word problem says, Priscilla sells stuffed animals at a local craft show. She charges $13 for the small ones and $12 for the large. She sold $350 worth of animals. After the show, she noticed that she sold 27 stuffed animals. How many were small and how many were large? The first thing you want to do when you ever you read a word problem is determine what is it your unknown. What is it you do not know? What are you trying to solve for? So what is it we do not know in this problem? How many large and how many small? So ladies and gentlemen, if we don't know something, we're going to introduce variables, correct? I do not care. I do not care. I do not, no, I don't care. I don't, it doesn't matter to me what you use as your variables. But if you're going to introduce variables, which you are, you need to make sure you label them. Do not assume that since I did x, y in my example, that I should know what x, y represent. All right? Because you can use x, y, you could use l and s, you could use a and b. It doesn't matter what your variable is. You just need to tell me what they represent. So for this problem, I'm going to have x represent uh, the number of small sold, that's small stuffed animals, and y is going to represent the number of large animals sold. Okay? It doesn't matter. You guys could do a, b. You could use, you could switch the variables. As long as you represent it, that's fine. All right? If you guys don't do that, I will mark you down for not labeling your variables. So please make sure you guys represent that. The next thing is we have two variables. And you guys remember when we're solving systems, what I keep on reminding you is whenever you have two variables, you have to have two equations. equations, right? So let's go back through our let's go back through our word problem and see if we can develop our equations. So I'm going to kind of work backwards. So it said after the show she noticed that she sold 27 stuffed animals. So the total number sold is what? 27, the total, notice I said that. Total means you're going to do what? You're going to, okay. But yeah, that's what it's going to equal. But what operation would you think of adds a total? Multiplication, subtraction, addition, right? So you could say if she sold 27, that means some of them are small, some of them are large, right? And we could write x plus y equals 27. Does that make sense? If the total number sold is 27, then the number of x, the number of small plus the number of large equal 27. Make sense? OK, but we don't know what those numbers are, right? That's why we use variables. Then the next one is it says, the next sentence over says, she charges $13 for small ones and $12 for large. So for every small animal or small animal she sells, she receives, she charges $13 for them. So how am I going to want to represent $13 per stuffed animal? 13x, right? Because you want to multiply 13 times how many she sells. So if you say 13x, and then how much does she charge for the smalls or for the larges? 12y. Now, so that's money, the amount of money she charges for the x, plus the amount of money she charges for the y, or per how many she sells for the y, equals the total amount that she earns. And the total amount she earns is 350. And there's your two equations. Now you've created your two equations. Now it's just going back to the first part of the test. How do you solve our two equations? Elimination, substitution, graphing, whatever you guys want to do. For this one, since I already did elimination, I'll do substitution. For this one, what I'd want to substitute in is I'll just solve for y. So I can write y equals 27 minus x. Then, since my y variable is equal to the expression 27 minus x, I'm going to plug in 13x plus 12. Instead of multiplying it by y, I'm going to multiply it by 27 minus x. And that's going to equal 350. And again, the reason why I want to substitute is, is because now you guys notice I'm only dealing with x's. I'm not dealing with y's anymore. Right? The y variable is extinct. Now I have one equation with one variable. Good. So therefore, I get 13x plus 324 minus 12x equals 350. 
subtract 324. And then what happens is you combine like terms, you get x equals 26. So therefore, the number of stuffed animals is what? Or small stuffed animals is x equals 26. And then obviously, you guys can see if x plus y equals 27, y has to equal what? Yeah. But you can still plug it in, or 27, minus 26. And you can still say y equals 1. Now, the last thing I want you guys to remember is please put this in context of the problem. All right? The problem does not say solve for x and solve for y. The problem says after the show, she noticed, OK, after so she noticed that she sold 27 stuffed animals. How many were small and how many were large? So please, guys, if you could sell, end it up with she sells 27 small and one large stuffed animal. OK? Gotcha? So please make sure you guys put it back in context to receive full credit. And there we go. Huh? Yeah. So you guys want to do the other one? Yeah. OK, we can go through that. Yes? 